So welcome to my voice meter banana um, voice meter banana tutorial. Uh, we're going to be running through how to start up voice meter banana into OBS and get a soundboard working as well. So what you can see here is voice meter banana. Um, uh, voice banana is a mixer program for your Windows computer. Using voice meter will allow for great control of your audio and much more creativity for your stream videos and just in general use. Um, so when you download voice meter banana, this is probably what you'll see. Something similar to this, maybe a bit different things selected or whatnot, but we'll run through everything in in this program. The so voice meter banana works by having five inputs and five outputs which are multi-channel so they go both ways so there's three hardware inputs and uh, two virtual inputs and same five five hardware outputs and two virtual outputs all right we'll go through that as well as well as this tutorial i recommend reading the, the manual um voice being a banana advanced audio mixer for windows so I recommend reading through this. There's a lot of stuff which I won't be going through, um, but yeah, it's a whole 54 pages of like just anything. So yeah, this would be pretty good to read. All right, so let's go. Let's just have a quick one run through of all the different sections that you will need to know. So over here is our hardware inputs. This is your, like your mic microphones, and when we have a uh, virtual cable as well, soundboards and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, any of your sort of hardware inputs, your microphones that go through USB or your mixer, um, will be in this section. Next section will be the virtual inputs, which is this area here. So this is uh, your desktop um, and anything going like into the the mixer. At the moment, I just have my desktop running into here, but you can have. I've got one un, not utilized at the moment. Uh, next section is the output section. So this is this area over here. Up top, we have our hardware outs. So this is where you go to your speakers or your um, headphones and stuff like that. This is just a small recording area, and then below is our sort of um, level and EQ section for the the outputs. So this section you can change the individual outputs, whatever dB gain. There's EQs you can mute it, um, change it to mono, and have some modes as well. I generally don't muck around with this area too much, except for maybe the audio levels. Like my uh, headset one is just negative two point five because I have, everything gets boosted to my head headphones. So I might change this up still a little bit more um, just because whenever I go to a new game, it always blasts it down, I have to turn it down in game. So maybe I just have everything up on full, turn this down pretty low. Next up is you down is to download VB Audio software from vbaudio.com. Um, so you go to the banana section and just download either X file or zip package. And while you're here, you might as well download virtual virtual audio cable if you do not have that already installed. Uh, so you want to install that and restart your computer um, for the audio drivers. Okay, once you have installed it, restart your computer. Uh, you might not have any sound, but that's okay. You want to go to your bottom right hand corner or you want to go to your playback devices. Um, and you want to pick your voice meter input, um, just VAIO. Um, this is also known as B1 input. So as you can see here, this is this section right here. Uh, after that, you want to go up to your hardware out, click A1 or A2, A3, it doesn't really matter, just and pick your speakers or your headphones in here. Um, generally, you could, generally you pick WDM because that's often there. 
Uh, KS is also quite good, but not often used. And WMME is the worst one with latency. So it's mainly just latency. And but if this is not here, not here, just choose wherever one works, basically. All right. Uh, from this step, you want to go in. You want to go to the voice meter VAIO, which I highlighted before. And once you've got the hardware out done, you want to pick select the A1 triangle here and click this. This will mean that all your desktop sounds should now go to get routed to your hardware out. So you could test this by just playing a song or some music or whatever you want to do. Um, so now you should have just normal sounds going to your headset. All right, let's now set up your microphone. Um, so your microphone setting is a hardware input, so you want to be using this section here. Um, generally just choose A1 or hardware input one, um, click microphone on select input device setting and choose your input device. So obviously choosing WDM again, if you can, if it doesn't work, MME, or if you have a KS, maybe you choose that one as well. Um, just see what works. They actually have a good uh, in-depth discussion on this in the manual, so I recommend reading that if you want to stand a bit more. Uh, so when that is done, you should see uh, audio level rising, um, but you can also select your speakers or headphones and route it there so you can hear yourself. So this is quite good if you want to test out what your mic sounds like and um, what sort of pickup it has and what you sound like through your headset and what the stream will probably hear. Um, once that is sorted out, so you have your microphone uh, working, you have your desktop audio going through voice meter um, and you can hear stuff. Now it's time to set up your OBS or Streamlabs OBS or whatever. Um, I'm kind of expert. I'm currently using uh, Streamlabs OBS, so I'll be setting it up through that. All right, to set up your streaming software, uh, we need to select a channel to get all our, all the stuff we want to go to um, the stream output to a specific channel. So I'm gonna choose the B1 channel, so which is the voice meter VAIO, but just instead of having an input, it's going to be an output. So if to to get to uh, to select this channel or route some audio to there, select your B1 in your microphone setting, and in the desktop select B1 as well. And over here you can see the output is going B1. Um, so this is what we're going to choose use for our input into Streamlabs OBS. All right, now it's time to set up your Stream OBS. Um, <laughs> as you can see, it's a bit of a bit of a mess in here, but let's go. So in the mixer se section over here in the bottom right corner, you'll see that my mic is picking up. You want to go into this cog here. You want to click properties and you want to select in the device setting voice meter output VAIO, not the aux one. So this will be your B1 output that we were select before. So just select done. Um, and when you talk from that, you should see the this going out. Now you might need to just mute some other um, channels uh, because you want everything's going to go into voice meter and then that's going to sort out all your balancing, whatever and then go into here. And also get rid of any gates and stuff that you have in your OBS uh, because it just won't. Because if your music is below your gate, which of this I've had this problem, it will be gated and then when you talk, <laughs> it's just a big mess. So just get rid of all your filters and stuff from OBS and let voice meter do all that sort of stuff. All right, so from now, now on, uh, everything should be working fine. Now your voice meter should be set up and you should be able to just do a general setting just general stuff uh, from now on we're just going to be tuning the microphone a little bit and maybe doing a soundboard as well all 
All right, so let's go into a bit of detail into the hardware input section in your microphone setting. So up top is obviously where you select your input device. Down here is IntelliPan section. Um, this is where you can change um, the sort of color and the, the way your mic gets outputted. So just so I can hear myself, I'll click A1. Um, I'll move, so this is the default panel. Uh, you change it by just doing right click. So as you can see, as you might be out of here, my voice is going low, it's going high treble, a um, bit of echo, maybe a bit of reverb over here. And if you just want to go back to your normal setting, just, oh, um, just double click and it goes back to where it was before. Um, right click, so this is modulation. Um, not much you really have to say here, just move around and your voice gets all funky. So, and uh, just double click to go back out. And here's a position. Um, so this is obviously you can only hear it in your left ear and in your right ear. And this is how far away you sound. Um, generally, I don't think this will work if you click the mono here, which will, uh, we'll just test it out now. So this is mono. If we go left, oh no, it's mainly, it does, uh, it does work. All right, so that's the sort of little color section quick change if you want to do any echo or stuff like that um next is the audibility this is a compression and gate so this is the section you want to do if you want to get rid of any background noise um and sort of make your levels a bit similar so the compression makes your highs and lows in a closer range so this is really good if you want to if you talk quietly sometimes, but you also talk really loud, so you have a really wide range, you can just make them a bit more even, a bit more pleasant for listening. And if you have any background noise, and when you're not talking or you've got finger tapping, or you're tapping your keyboard and stuff like that, and you don't want it to be registered, the gate is uh, on this right section. So you just move these little white knobs up and down and you will get, and just test out, see what works, see what cuts out your like fan or background noise, um, then just move the compression as well um, to sort of, and test out your different highs and lows and see how that sounds. Also with the compression, it has something called auto makeup. So when you move this up, when you change the compression, it automatically boosts the sound because it, sometimes it's gonna be boosting the low sound. So it will boost all sound. So you might just need to move your dB level down. So let's just talk a little bit about this section as well. Obviously here this is where your voice is talking, little dB level indicator. So if I talk really loud you might hit the green um, and it probably goes really red up here when it peaks. This is your dB level so you can lower the volume of the input. Like that uh, Over here is where you route all your audio. So you route it to your A1 which is my headset. B1, which is uh, we set up to be our OBS. Uh, B2, which we'll have a bit of a talk a bit later, is uh, for Discord and stuff. Down here is mono. This changes from uh, left and right uh, sort of stereo settings into just one, uh, just equal sound between both, basically. Solo means uh, this is the only thing that's going to be outputting sound. Everything else is muted and mute is the opposite of that. Hopefully I went through that with OK. I have a written uh, tutorial of this as well, which will go, which uh, you can read as well, and also check out the manual, and just look at other YouTube videos and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's good to just play around with these settings, especially the compression and gate to just, this is where I really think a lot of uh, streamers can benefit from it, especially the gate to get rid of that background noise and the compression to just make all the sounds a bit more even. Alright, next up we are going to be setting up our soundboard um, and get this running through uh, basically Discord and anything you want it to be doing as well. So, to start off with this, you wanted to download your virtual audio cable um, from vbaudio.com and also a soundboard software of your choice. Um, I'll be running through is XP soundboard because it's just very simple and easy. Once you have both of these installed, 
uh, we'll be, let's set up the EXP soundboard. So here's some of the clips I have. Let's just do a uh, control number four. So, hello George comes through. Um, so you want to set this output to speakers VB virtual audio cable. Yeah. Um, this is going to be a this is a going to be a hardware input. So next up, we set up the voice meter to collect this hardware input. So just select your input device. Select the VB virtual audio cable. Now this is where your sounds will be going through. So if we just play another sound, uh, just play the same one, I suppose. Hello, you see that this is going through this input. Now, for you to be able to hear it, you want to select your A1 routing. Uh, for the stream to be able to hear it, you want to select B1. But we're also going to add another virtual output B2. This is where your this is going to be your sort of Discord and comms and just your your microphone settings in general. All right. So once you've got your soundboard uh, working with voice meter, you now want to select go back to your bottom rack and select recording devices this time. Um, so this is just another tab in sort of the sound settings in Windows. And you want to select voice meter AUX output. So this is the B2 channel. Uh, so things might be a bit confusing. So we have a, which is fine. It took me a long time to understand how all this uh, fits together. Um, but basically your microphone is going to B1, which is your stream voice meter VAO. Uh, B2 is now going to be a new recording um, stuff in Windows for anything Windows related. Uh, your soundboard is going to your headphones A1. It's going to your stream B1 and it's going to your Windows record Windows default recording. That's what B2 channel is. The voice media AUX VAO, and your desktop audio is going to your headphones and to the stream, but not your recording. Or Windows um, your default recording which is what discord we're going in so anything you want to go to the discord or your in-game your game uh, push to talk or whatever like that you want to set to b2 so generally you don't want to be setting your desktop otherwise if you're talking in com in your discord you'll be hearing them and then it'll be relayed back to an echo so um, and the reason why I just set it up as this default recording on device is that so you can use it for just anything to do with uh, Windows like if you want to set up up with audacity and have your soundboards going through that or your you want your voice media to go to audacity uh, with all your sort of gates and compressions that's what you'd like to do if you want this whole if you want this basically all this to be working with any thing doing through Windows All right, so that comes to a conclusion on setting up um, your voice meter banana, a soundboard um, with your computer and with your streaming software. Um, this, I'm not sure how well the video would turn out. <laughs> this is my very first one, but I do recommend, and that's why I wrote a written format as well. So if the if you finish this video and you're still a bit unsure, maybe check out the written form, written form of this as well, or maybe do both at the same time. Um, if you're still having troubles, maybe check YouTube, check the manual, and but you can also just contact me personally on Twitter, Discord, or any other means. I'm more than happy to help. Um, that's what this whole thing is all about. So thank you for uh, watching, uh, reading, um, and hopefully you can utilize voice meter banana to, uh, to help your stream, to help your videos and um, just provide better content. Thank you.